Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on Chessopedia. In today's chess video, we are going to look at a very interesting Siberian chess trap. Now this trap was invented when it was played in a tournament held near Serbia in 1987. So this trap is as black and it begins when white placed move on e4. Black responds with the Sicilian defense and here white placed move d4. Now instead of d4, the main variations are knight to f3, there is knight to c3 also, even there is c3 which is known as the alapin, there is f4, there are a lot of variations in this opening. But okay, in this trap white goes for the d4 move, black has to capture, this is why the pawn came to c5, and here white gives up another pawn by playing the move c3, now this is known as the smith mora gambit, and in this trap white black accepts the pawn on c3 as well now instead of accepting the pawn there are again many options black could play d5 uh, you know transposing into the alapin again even black could play here something like knight f6 e5 knight d5 c d4 and then d6 this is also fine for black but in this trap black accepts the pawn on c3 white captures on c3 and if you are not familiar with the smith mora gambit setup and uh, then the basic setup is knight to f3 bishop to c4 and then gonna castle play queen to e2 rook to d1 trying to put pressure in the center and this is uh, some kind of the basic structure in the smith mora gambit black will continue with this development with knight to c6 white will also develop his knight to f3 e6 bishop to c4 here black will play a good move which is queen to c7 uh, the queen is well placed here and after a6 the queen won't have anything to worry about so white castles here uh, with the plan of queen e2 and rook d1 next black plays the move knight to f6 developing another of his piece and okay here white plays the move queen to e2 and in this point the trap begins black first plays the move knight to g4 now you might wonder what's the point of putting your knight to g4 because it first of all came to f6 then it went to g4 you know making two moves with a piece in the opening is not really a great choice but it's the trap so here you might wonder what's the point even going here because i know you are attacking on h2 with your knight and the queen but there is this very good flea placed knight on f3 which defends this as well so what if white just kicks away the black's knight on g4 by playing the move h3 and after you go back, it's uh, already not so good for black because black wasted a free tempi and now okay, white will simply play rook d1, bring his bishop and white is comfortable. But at this point, white has got already into the trap. Now I would like you to pause the video and try to find the killer move for black which wins the game on the spot. This move is really very deadly and i hope you have found it by now if not yet do pause the video and try to find out so the move here is the one and only knight to d4 the two knight attack you can say the two knights are very strongly placed and black just you know kind of deflects white knight on f3 because white's knight on f3 is also protecting the checkmate but now this knight uh, has sacrificed itself to help black's queen to checkmate on h2 now, if white plays the move queen to d3, something like that, maybe queen d1, then black will simply exchange on f3, white will have to take, and then queen h2, and this would deliver a checkmate. Of course, if white takes on d4 with his knight itself, then of course queen h2, and the most popular knight queen checkmate, as we all know, is very deadly. Here, what else could white do? If white would play something like h takes g4, black would simply grab the queen on e2, bishop e2, and already black is winning, maybe even h5 here, and black is simply, simply winning in this position. And thus, after h3, knight to d4 just simply wins the game. Now, imagine in this position, your opponent knows the trap very well, and he plays some of the best moves in the position. Now, the best move in the position is knight to b5, as well as rook to d1. Let us discuss this one by one. Let's say white first plays the move rook to d1. Thus controlling the d4 squares so now knight to d4 is not at all possible because of rook takes d4. But here comes another very good move 
which helps bishop to c5 now f2 square as you saw that we came to d1 so now the f2 square is very much weak and now black is going to take the pawn on f2 so white will have to bring his bishop in and then we will simply take it with our knight pawn takes and as you can see black is already very much better he is a pawn plus in material which he took on c3 for accepting the gambit and even now white's pawn structure is badly damaged black will simply take full benefit of it and eventually win the game maybe 95 now is a possibility but yeah this position already is very good for black now instead let's say white plays the move knight to b5 which is the best move in the position black will simply move his queen back thus with the idea of playing a6 and again knight to d4 so in this position what if just white just plays the move h3 because now you have to move your knight back and then okay what position is again equal black will play something like g3 with idea of bishop f4 and black white, uh, white is just better but here comes another very good move which is the move h5 and now as you see i made a video on the fishing pole chest trap which you can win in the i button above but yes after the move h5 which is very good black is again doing very well and black is certainly better in this position because the point is that black is threatening to play a6 and if the knight moves knight to d4 again which is the same trap threatening queen h2 checkmate later and if white takes in g4 black will simply recapture with the pawn and the same idea as fishing pole uh, with the rook and the queen eyeing on the h2 square white's knight won't be able to find a good spot to move and eventually black will win because white's knight will fall and then okay black will simply be better in the position so as you can see, uh, the Siberian chest trap is very very interesting and most of the people, especially in Blitz, will fall for this because at this point, most of the opponents will play the move H3 certainly because it's the most good looking and everyone will play this move. And then after you play the move 94, you would shock him and get a free and easy point during a game. So friends, this was the very interesting Siberian chest trap. Do try this trap and let me know your results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.